Hey guys, welcome to Tech Learns. Today we are going to learn about REST, which stands for Representational State Transfer. We have already published one article related to REST, which covers up the basics, which gives you an understanding of what is REST or what are the principles that are associated with REST. All right. So I would just advise you to go through that article once. Uh, so that it helps you understand this video better. So REST, as we said, that it stands for Representational State Transfer. Now today, we are going to understand the meaning of these three words. I think when uh, you uh, implement REST or uh, you use RESTful web services or REST concepts, you must always be clear about representational state and transfer. These three words must be clear to you. So today we are going to learn about these three words. What, the, what do they mean actually? So first we need to understand what is a resource because the rest is about resources, right? Let's take an example of banking application and try to identify what are all nouns in this application. Let's say in banking, we have customer, right? We have account, right? Let's say we have manager, the bank manager, and uh, we have well, let's say teller and we have other people as well so nouns right so nouns are the these are the resources in your application so if you want to identify the resources in your application so just try to find out what are the nouns in your application right now in case of rest so customer represents a resource right so we have a collection of resources so when i say customer it represents a single resource and when i say customers it represents a collection of resources all right and then we can have sub resources as well like account so this is a sub resource of customer so how you will write in case of rest let's say we have a customer with id one is having an account let's say one not one all right so what is this this is a url right so the next thing is in rest each resource is identified by url right just like here this represents a sub resource account right uh, uh, having you can say a parent resource or having resource customer so url or you can also call it as an endpoint right now proceeding further each resource in rest let's take try to represent customer using JSON. Let's say customer is having ID as one and uh, let's say name as, let's say Amit. So this is the JSON representation of resource customer customer all right so this is json representation of resource so we now know that each resource has a representation all right now what does this id and name tell you right we have a customer who is having id one and name amit now we are coming to state we have understood representation all right this is representation so each resource 
is having its own representation fine that representation can be in form of a json can be in form of xml or any other format as well all right now what is this id or uh, one and name amit suggests it tells you the state of resource or you can also call that data data of that resource id1 is the one is the id right it is the data name is amit so amit is the data which uh, represents your name which is the name of your customer right so we have understood representation right so each resource in rest is going to have a representation it can be in form of your json or xml or any other format now we also know what is state state represents the data of resource now the last term is pretty simple i guess transfer transfer is it's a common english word right what is transfer mean when something is going to move from one location to another location all right so in our case what will be moving and from where to where right so we are having client and we are having server now client and server are going to exchange the representation of resources all right so what is going to ex be exchanged between client and server the thing which is getting transferred you can say is the representation of resources all right so and that representation is going to tell you what is the state of that resource on the server all right i hope now we are clear with representation we are clear with the state and we are clear with the transfer of resources right so client and server in short we can say that, that in case of rest the client and server they are going to exchange the representations of the resources all right if client is sending let's say a get request to the server that give me the details of customer having id1 if it gets a response let's say json response like this then this is the representation of resource at the server right this is the state fine and this is the json representation similarly the client can also say to the server hey server please update the state of this resource at your end so it can also send a post request or put request right and then it can ask the server to create the resources or to update existing resources or delete resources as well we will talk about http methods separately but the thing which is going to uh, be exchanged between client and server will be the representation of resources and what does that representation tell you it will tell you the state of resource all right so that's it i hope uh, you are now uh, uh, able to understand what is rest and what is the meaning of representational state transfer so that's it for today thank you so much for watching this video if you like it please hit the like button please share it if uh, uh, many of your friend does not know about rest or wants to learn about it and uh, yeah do let me know your feedback your queries comments and your suggestions all right thank you so much good night bye